Now I'm going to demonstrate the functionalities of our Honey Proxy in Science DMZ. First, let's look at the Honey Proxy that is running on Science DMZ. It is able to show every time there's a login attempt, and as you can see, there's a bunch of login attempts using incorrect username or password. So now I'm going to log into one of our honeypots. I have already set the uh, port forwarding rules, so my SSH connection is directed to the honeypot. Now let's let me log into the honeypot. So you can see here um, that. This is the address of our honeypot, and this is the username I'm uh, username of the honeypot I'm going to use. So I'm going to. So I I was able to uh, log into the honeypot successfully. Let me run uh, some lan random commands, and let's see if our honeypot is able to. Uh, generate the log correctly. So this is the current time of the system and as you can see here uh, so everything is logged so timestamp IP 70.0 160.162.86.180 port username and password used to the uh, to log into the honeypot and TCP header and the comment the comments I used that that are run on the honeypots and you user user ID and group ID and also it is able to log the uh, login attempt. Oops, there's a bunch of log ends, so let me just grab. Uh, 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 so, this is the uh, username and the password used, and this is the time stamp that is that matches the um, current timestamp in our previous log and this is the IP address that is also uh, logged correctly and the login attempts is recorded as a success.